Alright, we are live. Live and direct. Word up. Live and direct. There's J Dub. J Dub. J Will. Dub, because of J J W. You know, J W. J W. J Dub. What up, buddy? J Dub or just J Will? J Dubs, J W, J Will, uh, Jaws. Oh. How about how about Buttercup? You know, I would I would say that, but that's your nickname. I can't. I, I don't. I don't want to. You know, confuse people. Kevin Lapellis. Who's that? That's your boy, right? My cousin. Yeah. Your actual cousin? My, my actual cousin. White or black? Uh, Jewish boy, white boy. Your mom's wasn't Jewish, but he is. <laughs> okay, I guess that could that could work that way. Rage bull, rag bull. Who that? Rage What's up, rag bull. A raging bull. Kevin is a, is a kick ass attorney. So if you ever get sued, you need to call him. Well, Lapellis Lapelco. If you ever get sued, call Kevin Lapellis. All the pellets. Let me. And, and his brother, if you ever having a baby, go. Call him. All right. All right. What's that? Kevin, what is what is what is uh what is what is James? He's a maternity. Like, if you're having babies. Sorry, I just uh, Frez Akendo introduces me here. What's up, Hawk? My man, Hawk. Hawk Dog. Hawk Ford. So, uh, you know what Ford is, right? Huh? Ford's a car. Ford is a car. You, when you hock it, it means you sold it. Oh, shit. He hocked his Ford. Nah, Hawk doesn't mean. Oh, yeah, well, you could steal it or you could just trade it in, it could be yours. I think I'm looking kind of sexy with the facial hair. What do you think? I go with probably not. No. Hmm. Uh, Where's Derek? The sexy boy is your wife. That's it. My wife is a sexy boy. Only person you need to look sexy for is your wife. That's true, but I'm just saying sometimes you can't help having the natural sex appeal. You feel me? I uh, actually, I. I <laughs> what you're saying, but I don't know if you know exactly what you're saying. He goes, I, sorry, I just, Derek just texted me. He's like, I thought you said nine. I'm like, I did. I said nine Eastern. That's what it is right now. <laughs> oh, great. Paul said, uh, when you, when you're, what is he? Uh, he says, when you go to a bar. Keep your head and rock the beard and you'll be in the game. Yo, I'm telling you right now, man, somewhere on your phone because it cuts out a lot. And that's, it happens even more, all the time. Well, um, my phone, this is, I got an iPhone 11, bro. Uh, your shit's ghetto fabulous. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. But you, you're taking, you're making fun of my monetary status in life, and this is you can make more money than me. <laughs> don't make any money. Me? That's not really saying a lot. Well, you got more money than me. I'm broke. My man Hawk, Hawk Ford. Hawk hey. Ford. Hey, goodbye. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> well, we're waiting for Derek James. Everybody's watching. Who's uh, Jarek Co Koch? It does. What's up, Jeremy? I'm good, brother. I use that. Um, you don't know? Um, Jerry Koch. Jerry Koch. Jerry Koch. He's a kosher kid named Jerry. 
Wow. That's good. You stopped doing comedy, right? Um, and when you at the bar, you need to be sexy. Oh, yeah, look, Raging Bull said, yo, you got to save your freaking head, which I totally agree. And then, and then, well, he said it somewhere. No, my boy Hawk, Hawk said that. I got to shave the top with the beard. Rock. I, it is, I do buzz it. I don't, I mean, shit. I no, don't want to go skinhead. You got, uh, you got, you got. Don't even let me start with you. You shouldn't talk about hair. I will call you out real quick. Uh, there's Derek James. Let I'm me get him in saying what you got. I didn't say what you don't have. I said, don't let me don't let me start with you. You know what I'm saying? Fine. I look good. I look good. Wish you guys yeah, let's try and get in Vander Holyfield, man. What? Let's get Vander Holyfield. There he is. Hey Derek, you know what did I say? You know you know Evander Holyfield? I don't know him personally no, I don't know. That's just crazy, man. But some people say man Holyfield they would they would like to see Holyfield on this thing. What thing? Let me see. Uh, I think, you know, somebody can get him. I mean, I mean, I don't Maybe Shannon. You talk to Shannon? Jeremy, you got to come closer again because you're, you're, cut, you're cutting out again. Cutting out. Um, what's up, Derek? What's up, man? What's up, what's up, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I know Briggs. He, um, we know somebody else who knows Holofield, but I don't think he does these live things. He's not really into it. I mean, he might not be, man. He's an older guy, you know, so. Yeah, apparently he sends people very religious texts at four, in, like five in the morning every day. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he's thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Derek, man, I watched um, I watched some of your old fights today, actually. Uh, one of your old fights. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're, you're tall, you know. You, you, right. you, how, how tall are you? Six two. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, saw my so, mic, saw my face. Huh? Come on, man. Man, don't get on me, man. Oh. So I'm just like, man, it's whatever. It's tall, some food. Nobody likes really tall people. Like, bro, come on, man. You look, you six feet tall, man. Six one. What you talking about? But you're six two. That's it. That's right. all. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, man. He fought a heavy weight than I did too. Derek, you fought at what? Light heavy? No, I fought at one sixty. Was, yeah, yeah. I mean, I fought at one in the ambulance. I fought one. What was funny in the ambulances, I fought at my first. Well, I won the national junior Olympics at heavyweight. Yeah. And the, and the wow. next year, Jeremy won at heavyweight. Damn, you won it. Oh shit, you won it that year. I remember watching that fight. I won in eighty seven. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching that fight. I won in eighty seven. Yeah, yeah. So. I was a, I was a heavyweight, but I was I was who beat me? Um, kid from New York. Kid from where? From New York, not you, motherfucker. Yeah, no. I know. Oh, okay. Uh, Wait, is it? Yeah, dude, I, I you won that shit, huh? I won eighty-seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. Then I where, won. Uh, where you from again, Derek? Dallas. I'm in Dallas. Dallas. You're born and raised. Born and raised Dallas, yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys in top gear now for this fight? You training into it? He, been, he well, he hasn't. He's been in the gym, man, since um, the Tuesday after the Danny Garcia fight. He never. Like the, he fought on Saturday. On Sunday, he wasn't running. Really? Damn. Yeah, on Sunday he wasn't running. Yeah, he wasn't running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys, uh, are you doing anything specifically different for this fight? Is there anything, anything special happening? That you not, could talk about? I mean, not necessarily. I think that uh, we just kind of been just talking and going over some stuff. We hadn't even been st deep into it because we have, you like, you like, what, three months away? Yeah, you got time, right? I mean, yes, yeah, so we have time. So we're going to go, we're going to start training on the 21st. So we'll give it eight weeks. But Super Judah. But we've been, we've been training. So he's in shape. We're going to get deep into it, you know. So I strategize it and doing more things like that. Yeah. Um, I, I was. How do you how do you how do you feel like that fight is gonna is gonna? How do you? Okay, oh, okay, we in the building. <laughs> what's up, champ? My guy, what Derek, up? what's up with it? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what up, <laughs> my guy? Super Judah. There you Super. go. 
he got the he got the best left hand in the world right there, man. I ain't gonna front, y'all. Yeah, I know it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I talked to um, I talked to Chris Van Heerden, right? So he fought Spence, obviously, right. and he fought Boots Ennis. He fought both those guys, and I was like, who hits harder? And Chris was like, Spence hits harder, and every single shot Spence throws, he said, you felt every one, and he said that was the most that was the hardest part to fight. Yeah, man. Man, my guy, man. Ain't nobody gonna touch him right now. Like, yeah, going through the fight. Always. So, like, some people start out punching hard. In the last round, he's punching just as hard. So, I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he always been like that. He always been like that. Earl Spence been stopping guys from the amateurs and everything. Right, he been right. like that. Yeah. Did you? He did, cold. You, did you go? Through the, did you go through the amateurs with him? No, no, no. I was before him. I was. I was before him. Yeah. But you. Did, was I his training in Amazon? Is that what you oh. asked? know that? Oh, nah, he asked Zab if Zab, uh, if they were coming up together. No, yeah. Zab was Zab the up, Jeremy. He was a kick. Um, we were 96. Zab was. Oh. Right. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah, he's a, he's a little older than, than Errol's what, 30 now? 31. Yeah, I'm 31. 43. I'm yeah, 43. 43? Yeah. He came after us, man. He was gonna, we were gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I made it. I made it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, because every, like I told you, Marco, every four years. Yeah. He's in that group right after me and Derek. Right. Two group. And they got, and they got, so for people watching, every four or five years, fighters, especially in the amateurs, basically just see the same four or five fighters you fight in the division, right? Man. Then every four or five years, it switches over to a new crop. At least, yep. at least four. Um, there's always a run and gym. There's a what? Ron Sims. Oh, Ron Sims. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy, right here. Ron stayed until they kicked him out of the amateur box. <laughs> <laughs> so we were fighting like, we were fighting we were fighting Ron I was like 18 to 19 18, Ron was like 24-25 Jeremy come closer yeah. I, I wouldn't hear anything you said Who that, man? I can't hear him can you hear him yeah. can't hear you Jeremy oh <laughs> Oh, sick. Long time. Right. He's still um, with Zab them, too. He's still with Zab also. Because he fought in 1965. The first qualifying tournament in 96 rounds was the National Pal. It was in Dallas. Yeah, in Dallas. Oh, yeah, I was in, yeah. Yes. Uh, I won that tournament. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And Floyd beat Augie Sanchez in the, in the semis or the finals, one of the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sims right now is in India. I don't know if you guys know this. I talked to yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. training the Indian national team, right? Right. He is, yeah. Who is that? Who? Not, Who? not necessarily the national team. He's training a team in India, but his fighters are normally on the – because, you know, we talk a lot, too. And his fighters are on – they keep making a national team. Ron, uh, Ron Sims? Is right, that yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Ron Sims. That's my guy. Yeah. My he's, guy. He's in Air USA. Force. Force. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. USA didn't value that, the brother. So we had to yeah. go. They didn't value him. So we had to go somewhere else and help those guys. So they didn't. They, he was in the program. He fought more international bouts than any other fight in American history. So um, so let me ask Zab. Zab, how do you see Pacquiao versus Spence going? Um, I like Pacquiao. Pacquiao's a good fighter. Fast hands, dynamite guy. But Earl Spence is too much. I think it's a change in the guards right now. The changing of the guards, um, you know, Pacquiao right now, you know, in all respect, no, no, no disrespect, he's the gatekeeper right now, mm. and you know what I'm saying Earl come to get that key. Mm. You know, hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but you know what's funny about this app? <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of people, right? And obviously, Earl Spence is the worst welterweight champ of all time because every they they never. Only time he was a favorite was when he fought a number one contender. Other than that, Danny was gonna beat him. Sean was this, this guy. I mean, they they are. I mean, he's never gonna beat him. But I mean, that's what that's what everybody said. I mean, 
Why do you think? Mike what? was they said Mike was gonna be what you can always agree on or what you can always bet is everybody is gonna not give you a chance to prove yourself. And even when you prove yourself, they right. still out you. Right. 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 It's a, until, until you until you in your mind become champion, right. like solidly, nobody then you start fighting at a different level. Right, right, right. Every, you know, but I think Al Heyman did a wonderful job with Pacquiao's career and mm -hmm. he, the last big fights that he put him in and the way he's transforming him out is good. I mean, he's fighting right. one of the biggest fighters of our era today. The last mm -hmm. big hurrah to prove himself and he's giving a shot. And, right. you know, they, you know, everybody know nobody beats Father Tom. None of us fighters. Mm -hmm. None. Father Tom is a motherfucker, bro. He undefeated. That's the most undefeated boxer I know. It's right. called... So, mm -hmm. I 100 percent agree with you. Right. Yes. Hopkins, I feel like, was the only man who probably got better in his 40s. No, Hopkins didn't run into Father Town. So what happened with Hopkins? He was released from, from prison late in life. James, so he didn't have the same jump that everybody else had. He didn't have the wear and tear that a lot of us had. With the like me, I had 115 amateur fights before I went, and that's a lot of fucking fighting. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the wear and tear, so of course. It showed without the wear and tear, he's able to preserve himself and go longer. Mm. Of course, that's a known fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I hundred percent agree. I hundred percent agree. Yeah. I um, I heard Derek that that Errol walks around sometimes. I was curious. I want to ask you this: that he walks around sometimes at 185. Is that true? Well, that was a while ago. That was like that was like a year ago or so. He he, he's like 160 something. 160, right? He's right. Yeah, he, that was a while ago. Mm -hmm. from is there any type of a specialized drug? Somebody's asked a question about drug testing. Are are you gonna um, request or uh -oh. ban drug testing for Pacquiao? No doubt. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have that. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, people. Yeah, man. He's damn. Um, you gotta go Vada. Vada. Right. Vada got the best one. Nevada. That's right. Yeah. Vada, Vada truck drug testing. Nevada. Oh. Vada truck testing. Okay. Okay. Um, so, is, go ahead, Jeff. No, I'm good. Go ahead. Um, so I, I was going to say, are you, is, is Spence planning on – you probably can't even tell me this, but are you guys planning on switching Southpaw conventional, or you, or you can't even tell me? Why? 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 Well, you ain't got to do that. Well, sorry. Sorry. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. No, man, no, man. Listen, man. That, that's some new shit that Terrence Crawford started with. Even Kell Brook did it, too. But he only did it once in a fight. No, but, I mean, I think that switching up, hey, man, it's, it's a fad. Every, every, you think about this. There was one point in life, everybody tried to fight like Mike Tyson. Then everybody tried to fight like Roy Jones. Then everybody tried to fight like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Just, now all these guys are trying to fight like Terrence Crawford, right? So it's like it's okay. It's it's you know, but there's only one. It's only one one of those, right? So I mean, I, no, we're not good enough. For, you know, this is like the left hand side who's been pop, so dominant. Why would we switch up? Why why would we do something right. that we're not a master at? Fighting a master. No, yeah, you. I mean, you definitely got it. Pacquiao can fight his ass off, and he's a tough motherfucker. Who is fighting with all of the Philippines and Asian culture? So, for for for, for you guys to win, you got to bring your your double A game. And right. not that your fighter is not up to the but he's just you're fighting a whole lot more. Than just yeah. I don't know. I beg to differ. I say all Earthmen got to do is train hard and show up. Right. And it's and, and, and it's, it's curtains. But the boy no. can fight, man. I believe in him. He's one of my favorites. I'm telling you. Right. The man is good. He can fight. Like, Watch. Watch yeah. what I tell y'all. Pacquiao's was... good. Right. Yeah, he's good. Yes, of course. Yeah. But nothing like like Zab is coming off his lips very smooth. But it's not as easy as that. But <laughs> <laughs> I understand what he's saying because, I mean, you have to show up, man. And, I mean, you just got to go out there and be your best. Every fight he goes out there is his best. He's very focused. You know, and he, I mean, he's a very pinpoint accurate fighter. Like, 
he hits you where he wants to hit you. It's not like he's going to land on he's, Every punch he lands, the pinpoint. I mean, mm -hmm. um, so and Pacquiao is very intelligent. And he's he's going to come out and he's going to jump on you. So you just got to be prepared. And really, the key element is not to let the great guy be, be himself. Because everybody, if you let somebody be himself, kick your ass every day of the week, you just got to be do whatever it takes. Not let him be man, make him into somebody else. I heard, I heard a lot of fighters like Mayweather. A couple said that Pacquiao's the hardest thing to get used to is his footwork. Right, the hardest. Are you, are you guys focusing on that? Hey man, well you know it's like he is very fast. Uh, that's why I'm always working, I'm always running. Because when you get fights, have the mimicry. I have the mimic these fighters. I have to switch up left from the minutes and I have to be able to do everything the man is doing. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just a big six foot two guy, but I'm and doing everything. Man. We'll see if is, is Earl Spence, does it Earl Spence punch hard enough to stop back? I'm getting what? a lot of feedback. I don't know if you guys hear it, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like this. In the gym, he breaks guys' ribs. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, break guys' ribs. I mean, so it was like, uh, you guys were in 18s in the gym? Well, it was 18, 60, whatever. Whatever. Break the ribs. What do you want? I got a thousand on the stoppage. I got, I got a thousand on the stoppage. Right? A lot of guys for him. They were like, hey, man, listen, man. He can punch. Well, I, I know he can punch. That's the easy part. That's uh -huh. the. But, you know, being able to, to catch the guy is is a whole not, a whole other story. I mean, he's a very he's one of the best fighters in the world right now, regardless of what. So, right. And also, I'm just being devil's advocate. Right. Hey, yo, Jeremy. Hold on, hold yeah. on, Jeremy. I'm going to cut you off. You ever play uh, Pac-Man, the video game? Yes. Remember when them little ghosts come up on you and they get you? Yeah. And you lose? Yeah. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> The little ghost is gonna get Pat Man and it's game over. <laughs> hey, hey, look, hey, Zab, you gonna get us killed, Zab? Like, what? You said what? <laughs> nah, you know, I nah, remember now, nah, it's gonna be a good fight. I think that, um, Like that, you can't you can't underestimate anything or anybody. That's an idiot. Regardless of his age, regardless of whatever, his, he has amazing footwork. He has amazing punching power. So you just got to be smart, man. You just got to be able to, you know, be yourself and not let him be that guy who can do everything he does. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Malik, Malik, hit me in the DM. I think um, I so, uh, in in your eyes, what is what do you? What's the most dangerous part of Pacquiao? Is it what you just said, the footwork and the speed, or what, in your eyes, is the most dangerous part for Arrow? I think the I think the most dangerous part of Pacquiao is the fact that he believes. Because oh. it's hard to stop a man who truly, honestly believes in himself, or he's convinced himself of something in particular. Right? It's hard to it's hard to you know yeah. come test it now. When once a jab and 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 Jeremy knows. Once you start hitting them and start discouraging them, that's something totally different. But and he start breaking down quick. Initially, he can't Derek, break. Derek, here's a good question, Derek. I'm gonna cut you off. What size is the ring you guys fighting? I was gonna ask the same thing. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's but like this is gonna be whatever size Earl Spence wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, if it's a small, if it's a small ring, it's over. Right. It's gonna be. Right. I, I give it about five rounds, five six rounds. That's so it. What, what, what do you say? Small sixteen. No, yeah, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen is small. Hey, if it's, that's small. That's like that's like the gym ring in my gym. But that's like a, nah. But if he get that, hold on. If Pacquiao is giving the twenty four by twenty four, it's gonna be that motherfucker gonna get the move, brother. That that shit like a football field. You gotta yeah. get somebody in there. Listen, hey, listen, hey man, this dude cut the ring off like you never seen before. I'm telling you. So we're, we're like it's like this. You know, like we gonna like you know, but we are gonna see. <laughs> okay, listen. Put it like this: 
you got to go into this fight knowing that this guy is where you're fighting. He's going hey man, he's gonna bring it, man. And he chose. He really, I mean, good about this. He chose the guy who he can get the biggest fight out of. He can make the most money with. And um, and because it's about pay per view, it's about buys, it's about selling. That's the biggest fight that will sell for him. And, You're talking about Pacquiao or Errol Choke? Pacquiao, Pacquiao, oh, okay. Pacquiao. Yeah. He, I mean, he because he had he had a choice to fight other other people, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to make the most money, who's the guy who sells fifty thousand tickets in the city? He goes yeah. to LA, twenty thousand tickets. That's the most dangerous deal. choice, though, man. That's the most dangerous choice he chose. Yes. But but what what's the risk with no reward? I mean, so he's gonna get, but. As, being a dangerous choice, say you fight another guy who's just who's a good fighter, but he doesn't have a following, and you make no, no, you make, nobody, you make no money, make big mistakes. Man, right. you, when you're on top, you want to fight the best. That's right. So I think that for him, moving around to this guy and that guy, you fight the best guys because you know it, you, your clock is ticking, and at, at the end of the day, it's gonna. Right. Then you're done, and then you can't get back, and you can't look back and go, "Fuck, I should have done X. I should have." Yeah, you, you gotta just live with it. Yeah. Um, Zab, I got a question. How yeah. would you have fought Pacquiao? Like, what do you think beats him? I mean, um, I came up with Pernell Whitaker, so I came up with the best mm -hmm. left hander in the game. From 15 years old, I've been boxing with him. So in my career. Any southpaw that I ever fought, I I I I, I watched him. Corey Spinks, you know he's one of the bigger names. I mean, like you know what I'm saying, like every southpaw I knocked, I fought, I damn it knocked out, no mm -hmm. joke. Mm -hmm. So southpaws was preferably easier to me, you know what I'm saying, because I had the experience with coming up with Whitaker and seeing that my whole life. I mean, and Jeremy, I tell you, I was boxing with Whitaker when he was known as the best pound for pound fighter in the world. I'm mm -hmm. talking about all you, like he was doing all this shit and. All that, like, you, you couldn't yeah. even be swinging that air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. It was bad. Yeah. It's fucking. And I, I, I remember Zab and them working out in Florida. It was, yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. So, you know, coming up with that. I mean, me, I would take the fight straight to him because I'm a boxer puncher. I'm going to come out with that good jab, look for the shot, and try to bang that left hand and bring that hook back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I was knowing if the, if, if the left touch you, it's going to be a short one, baby. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think, uh, Jared, uh, Errol is, is naturally a lot bigger. Right. So, and Pacquiao's probably going to trade with him and that's just going to be a, a mistake. Bad, bad move. But bad that, move. He's going to do, he's going to, I think he's going to do what, only thing he's been doing. I mean, are you 40, 42 years old or whatever? I mean, you can always make a change, but I think that. If that's possible, but you can't come in the ring. But like, what I do, the way I prepare a guy, I I um, I prepare him for possibilities. We know what he's done before, so we're gonna prepare for that. But what if he does this? Or what if he does that? So you just gotta kind of. So whenever this scenario presents itself, he's prepared for it, ready for it. So it's like so, so different scenario. The best, best version, of, not the worst. Best version. Yeah. So when when is Errol Spence gonna be able to come on with you? So we can we can talk to him we can get right from the ghost mouth. Good question. He don't like he don't like doing it. He doesn't like doing it? <laughs> he don't like Just for the whole thing? The public one seventy and one eighty. Where's it at? Uh what is it? By, by the nuclear. Get on the yeah. like hold on. Some back. Get ready, so you were saying that he doesn't like doing these interviews? They got what? They got to make him do it. It's so crazy because he will never, never do it. Uh, um, <laughs> right here. Like, we go to the door. When we go to dinner. He won't. No, nobody is not like. Say you go to here. Ask me to go to dinner. We sit there, no conversation, not one word. Really? What? Now listen, now listen. Now one word. I had one time was fun going to Vegas, and he's from Vegas, and he's like, "I'm going to breakfast this time." So we we'll go to breakfast, and one of my boys came and joined us at breakfast. He kept looking like, 
Like what the hell? Like they we not one word. We say one word. He he doesn't talk. Like you now he won't talk. He's quiet. Very quiet. He won't talk. Huh? There's, but well, when you know, um, ask him and see if he just kind of show his pretty face. I'm mm -hmm. gonna. Somebody wants dad to come. I'm looking at this now. They want dad to make a comeback. <laughs> hey, that thriller, that well, not, no, that thriller. Or, I think, no. I think after Zab's, he had that that issue with the surgery. I don't think he could fight again. We could ask him. I think he's frozen right now. Yeah. Also, <laughs> somebody keeps asking about Costa Zoo. Costa Zoo. Yeah. Oh yeah, because that yeah, because Zab fought Costa. I think they're talking about that. Yeah, don't worry about that. Def, a special person. What does that mean? Um, I like, I like Jabs. Uh, I like Zabs more more than Floyd. I know is is Floyd a good nice person? Like I've I've I had a conversation with him once or twice in my whole life. I don't I don't really know him that well. Yeah, Zab. What do you, I don't know if you could hear us. It seems like, but Zab, if you could hear us, have you met uh, Derek? What? Have you met Floyd? He's still. I, I used to live. We live when I lived in Vegas. I went there to train with Roger. And we used to train Floyd and I at the same time. We used to train together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I remember, listen, I remember when he was, like, not a champion, like, six, seven fights. We were together. We used to go together, hang out all the time, go to dinner, go to go to the club all the time. And How was it? So it was cool? And yeah, let's put it like this. The person who he is right now is the person he always wanted to be. Mm. So, listen, so... If you can say, this is what I want to do when I go, you know, he grew into the individual he wanted to be. So I knew for the Mayweather, he didn't have a car. He didn't have a car. And then mm. when they bought a car, right? Then when they bought him a Lexus GS300 or whatever, he came to my house and picked me up. We went to, we went to hang out. I mean, yeah, I mean, but he, like this. This thing is so big. I mean, he's a good guy, you know. His boxes. Yeah. Took him to a whole other, whole other planet, whole other stratosphere. So, I mean, you know, it'll probably be hard to get. I mean, I'll see him. I'm gonna see him at the fights, or he'll be with us in, the, you know, he'll be with us, you know. <laughs> Zab, somebody asked about you making a comeback. Can you fight after that injury or no? We can't hear you. Somebody says Zab gonna lose the arrow. We can't hear you, Zab. You're on mute. In the car, the car got to pick me? it up. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, there you. Yeah, yeah. Got hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, um, um, like I said, um, I don't know yet. I mean, medically, you know, I would say I had to go get tested, but can I fight? Shit, brother, you know me. I'm with the smoke all day, Jeremy. You know that. <laughs> would, you, not, would you fight again? Any fight is just huh? Huh? Would you like? I know you can, but would you do it if if offered something? What to fight? I mean, it depends. I mean, I mean, like I said, I went through a, ver a real big scare with my family, with my children, and everything. You know, what I'm saying with the brain surgery. So I mean, it's got to be worked out while. If it's worked out while, of course, why not? Mm. And yeah. really, it'd be like something like more that thriller stuff than anything else, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Give me. A Give me a YouTuber. Shit, watch what happened. Yo, yo, want to see somebody get trash? Give me, uh, give me a YouTuber. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm standing right. I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm like, me, give me one too. I'll take. Yeah, hell yeah. Fact, I'll take two. I give a fuck. I'll take two, motherfucker. I feel like, Derek. I feel like the cool, the great thing about this fight, besides that it's Pacquiao, is after he beats Pacquiao, now he has real supreme control. Like Crawford will come to him. He'll be top, top. Well, that's what he was saying, changing of the guards, man. Where, where Pat yeah. was running yep. shit for X amount of years or time, and now... Mad oh. years. Mad years, yep. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that, that's that's the plan. I mean, you see, I mean, that's I mean that's that's what... If you if you had a dream, you said, man, what would you want your life to be like? It would be just like this. It would play out just like this. I mean, it would, it would fight this guy and be able to take... And it just makes him bigger. Because I said, like, he, he sells out 50 some thousand tickets in Dallas at the Cowboy Stadium. Ooh. So with this one, like, dude, it's even more. He's going to take it to a whole other level. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, man. That's, 
that uh, what 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 date is the fight again? Uh, August twenty first. And it's where is it being held? It's gonna be I'm not for sure. Some somewhere in Vegas. Okay. Hey, man, look. look, this interview is almost kind of being disrespectful. Let me tell you why. <laughs> I got to fight July seventeenth with Jamel Charlo for the undisputed light middleweight championship. Oh, with gun. All right. Talk about we jumping the gun, man. What you talking about, man? Come on, man. Let's talk yeah. about that. I told you, I told you Marco. Look, look at my notes right here. It says Charlo. 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 Shout out to the Charlo brothers, my guys. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So you guys are you guys are gearing up for that one then, obviously, right now. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And has, how, what's your prediction on that one? How's that fight gonna gonna look? I can't I can't even say see it any other way other than my guy winning. I, I know I that. How? Hey, that I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> I, mean I just know that Jamel Charlo is looking strong. He's going to go out there and be the best best version of himself, man. Nothing wrong with that. Push Derek, himself. Derek, I had a question for you, Derek. Do you, in training, do you allow Jamel Charlo and Earl Spence to spar with each other? They have before. Yeah, they have before, yeah. And yeah, I, think, I, I think Jamel asked could he spar with him this time. Oh. That's some good work for each other. That's yeah, yeah. Good I work. Think that, yeah, I think that's why he asked because he wanted to, you know, um, he wants, he knows Errol going to push because Errol throws a lot of punches, there's a lot of hard punches, and he comes nonstop. He keep coming, coming, coming. So, and the smarter and the more intelligent the fighter is, the more heightened his intellect is also being in the ring. So I think that he right. needs, when you spar on that level, Hey man, it takes you. It takes you mentally and physically. It makes it enhances your reaction time. It keeps you more focused. A lot of times, guys spar guys less. Than, they're they're not as focused, right? But when you spar somebody who can knock you out at any punch or beat you up, hey man, listen, you're gonna be focused and keen on what he's doing. So that's a good question, Dad. But yeah, they, uh, Jamel did ask if he spar out this fight. You you run do you run most of your camps out of Texas or what? Dallas, yeah, everything's in Dallas, yeah. You got your own space and your own own gym and own gym here downtown in Dallas, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna put him in the spar? You gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna spar, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spar, yeah. Definitely. Um, hey, you know, Marco can come down and spar with him from New York. You just come. I could. Yeah, I could. Yeah. Right. So could my mother though, so <laughs> right. um I was gonna say a lot of people bring up that that it the injury that or the accident right that that Errol had and a lot of people I thought it was dumb but a lot of people were like oh he might not be the same I mean was there really ever any threat of that of that accident affecting him for the rest of his life like if yeah man you think about but I mean if you look at it like this man he could have died in that accident he could have but he didn't right so I think that you can't and. I mean, people say he's not the same. We well, fought Danny Garcia. We trained. We trained for nine months for that fight. Nine months for that fight. Wow, nine months. Well, goddamn. Well, listen, because because he, he coming back from a traumatic accident where he could barely move. He was stiff. He was tight. He had to go through the process of well, uh, you know, being able to fight, being ready, and being you know. Well, was, was he like, learning to fight again? Huh? Was he learning how to fight again? No, 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 no. He, he, the first day he came back, he was, he was good, but he was, he was like a little it, different, right? That, that abuse, man, that, that car throwing you, and yeah. So I mean, but now he was good, man. We and the thing we didn't do, we should have videoed the process, but we didn't. But you know, nah. But uh, what, what was affected in him in the accident the most? Like I don't remember. The, was it a broken arm or was it? No, nah, it didn't break anything. No broken, no nothing. The shit out of him. Huh? You shook the shit out of him, right? There we go. Yeah, if he flew out of the car like fifty feet, man. Shit. But yeah. he full recovery though, huh? Yeah, yeah, full recovery. Yeah, he's good, man. Wow. Um. <clears throat> but things what? like mental, more mental than anything. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's that, that's an exciting fight, man. And um, it, so Char Charlo's fighting for the. Did do you see Charlo going up in weight? Or you see him staying at this weight for a while. Hey man, I think that 
It's what it, it depends on his brother. If his brother moves up, then he could probably move up. You know, they all may sit down. El Jamel and Jamal may sit down and talk about it. Let's go up, so everybody moves. You know, what up? I mean, I don't know. Shit. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, um, El said he doesn't want to move up until he fights for the undisputed championship welterweight. So that means he got to fight. You know. Yeah, yeah. All right. I fight them all. Was right. you, Marco. What's up? We good right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, yeah, we, we, we should uh, wrap it up, man. We appreciate you uh, taking the time. Um, let's do it again, let's especially get, after he wins. Let's talk much. We want Earl Spence to tell him I'll arm wrestle him, and if I beat him in arm wrestling, then there we go. So, what you so, 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 Jeremy, you're in California, right? Yes. And you're in New York because he was like nine o'clock. I was like, man, what nine o'clock? What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. I think I I think I wrote a text at Eastern. I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, yeah. I, got, I, saw that I didn't see anything past that, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm worried about it, man. Uh, yeah, man. Let's let's do it again. We appreciate appreciate it's you. Right. Right. For me. It's six o'clock for me. Right there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's still early. Sun is shining. Zab must be in California also. Yeah, he is. He is. See that? That's outside. Yeah, man. Don't do that. My, look, I put. I'll show you my backyard because it's, it's nothing out there. It's dark, man. Dark. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, some of us, you know, got daylight. And some of <laughs> us don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, just, man, you, look, man, get your boy. Oh, at least I have him have bring a sentence and say something, man. We'd love to talk to him, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I promise I'm going to ask Say, man, listen. <laughs> I mean, Jeremy, because he know who you are. He know he remembers you. Beautiful. See, like, you try and be like, Jeremy said he'll arm wrestle you, like, finger fight you or something, anything. I don't know. Right. Finger fight? You know, like this. Oh, thumb fight? Hey, I don't Sounds know. Nasty, whatever that means. Hey, man. In your nice. world. <laughs> <laughs> in your in my we're about world. To, uh, Derek, we're about to interview uh, Hector Camacho Jr. Um, after you. Okay, that's dope, man. That's dope. Okay. You want to? You can stay on, and, and and you can stay on if you like. Hey man, I gotta cook, man. Yeah. Hi, right. right, man. I just, I just walked in the house. For, I just walked in the house, man. Thank you, thank yeah. you. We appreciate hey, it. Bro, rest of your evening, bro. No doubt. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah.